Hello and welcome back to our discussion on the seven last words of Jesus. The setting for our talk is that Jesus obviously is on the cross and on either side of him are two criminals who have also been convicted and are being crucified. Now also present are rulers, soldiers, and different townsfolk who are beginning to mock Jesus and make fun of him saying if you're the Messiah, um, come down and save yourself. They've also made a sign mocking him as the king of the Jews. And if that weren't enough, one of the criminals on the side of Christ says to him, if you're the Messiah, come down, save yourself and save us. Well, right after that, the criminal on the other side of Christ rebukes the first one. And he says the following, do you not fear God? We have both been rightly charged for our transgressions. We deserve the punishment we're getting, but this man is innocent. He has done nothing wrong. And then he turns his attention directly to Christ and he says, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. And I love what our savior answers with right after that. And it forms uh, the foundation of our talk for this session. He answers him saying, today you will be with me in paradise. Now here are just two things that I love about this particular exchange that applies to us today. Number one, from the perspective of the criminal who saw a savior, here's what I love most. In spite of all the distractions that were taking place, in spite of the rulers of the town, the soldiers, and the different townsfolk who were there, and even the criminal who was on the cross, all calling out, making fun, and mocking Jesus. And in spite of the fact that he was actually guilty, rightly charged, and rightly being executed, this man who was accused of this crime and was being executed on that cross saw one fact that applies directly to you and I. It's never too late to reach out to Christ. Now, I don't know where you are in your circumstance or your situation, but there may be one of two of you, one or two of you who are feeling like there is no way that this Christ is interested in someone like me. I've done too much and it is much too late. I'm here to let you know that just as this person was on the cross with Christ, in the process of a slow death, he reached out to a savior, asking him to remember him, and our Christ answered him, today you will be with me in paradise. The second thing is the, from the perspective of a Christ who saw a sinner. Now, here is Christ on a mission, come to reconcile sin and to, to put us back in a right standing with God the Father. And with all that was going on, with all the physical pain he was experiencing, with all the exhaustion, with all the hurt, with all the ridicule that was taking place, he still was about fulfilling his mission. And he heard someone while he's on the cross going all that he's going through, don't forget, he is 100% man and 100% God. So he's feeling the full impact of all that was taking place. And he still heard this man crying out to be remembered. Now what this says to you and I is that we are never too far away from our Lord and Savior for him and his grace, love, and mercy to reach us right where we are. Here's what I want you to take away from today's, today you will be with me in paradise, phrase from our Savior, that you're never too late and you're never too far. Christ loves us and wants to be in relationship with us. It was pertinent then, it's pertinent now, as he's teaching us from the cross. Thank you, God bless you, and we look forward to seeing you again. Take care and be safe.